Hi, my name's Steve and welcome to the Seaside Allotment Channel. I know people love potato reveals and I don't generally do them. Um, but uh, yeah, I thought just as a special treat, uh, I would do the last batch of the Christmas potatoes. So these were potatoes sown in August and we'll see what they're like. Saw some signs that they might be sprouting. So really can't keep them any longer in the ground. Uh, in fact, they're in uh, just, uh, I think they're in 10 litre flower, flower pots uh, from the supermarket. And I did about 20, I think, of those flower pots, uh, just one potato in each uh, in August, um, in just ordinary multi-purpose compost with a handful of fish blood and bone meal. And we've just been harvesting those all the way through. And uh, this is the last batch, so enjoy. Right, so let's take a look. These are the last of the um, so-called Christmas potatoes. I'm quite pleased with these actually, they're looking quite nice. You don't, I mean, you don't get a big yield, especially uh, in this situation because these got blight. So I just had to cut the tops off and uh, just go with whatever, um, with whatever I could. I'm surprised to find that mare's tail growing in the potato pot. I don't know how that managed to get in there. Um, but these potatoes are starting to sprout, as you can see, which uh, kind of makes it easy to find them. I'm used to be pleased with the size of them, given that they, they only really had about two thirds of their normal growing time they got the blight so not too bad but it is nice getting such perfect little potatoes really uh, even though they were planted pretty much the beginning of August actually so they've been in this compost for a very long time and uh, I've kept it just in the little greenhouse, these just these last few pots, just so they didn't get too wet. But the compost is still reasonably moist, so I'm quite happy with it. And it won't be long now before we're harvesting the first of this year's potatoes. The first batch were done basically the beginning of January. Um, so they are about ready now and they look about ready as well um yeah i don't know i might actually be tempted to harvest one of them but just a kind of out with the old and with the new moment let's see how i feel by the time i get finished with this well, that's most of those that's just got one more pot to harvest And this is one of the reasons why I don't really bother with trying to get really early potatoes um, from a sowing in January or December or something like that because why bother when you've got <laughs> when you've got this sort of quality of potatoes from your August sowing? It's really not a lot of point just a lot of extra hassle basically and a lot of polytunnel space taken up by growing potatoes when you could just be storing old potatoes in the pots and this is but this is about as far as you can go you know because as you can see these are all sprouting so um yeah that's that's pretty good i'm pretty happy about that so, see that not bad so I hope you like this quick video and I was thinking maybe I would do a harvest of some of the uh, January sown potatoes but uh, I decided against it because we've got so many from this harvest it just seems a shame to uh, harvest some more just for them to sit in the fridge so I will uh, harvest those maybe next week see you soon